Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you apples, kind of like from the start to the end. But in this case, I had already cleaned my apples. And how I clean my apples is, I take a pot of boiling water. I let it come to a rolling ball. Dip each apple for seven seconds, making sure to turn the apples in the water so it can coat and get all over the apples. Remove from the apples after seven seconds. Wipe down, sit to dry. In this case, I had already let my apples been sitting out for like 72 hours or whatever. So now I'm going to apply the sticks. And I get these sticks from Bamboo Imports. And they fit perfectly over the paper straws. And I just place the stick back into the paper straw. And I take my apple. And my apples are turned upside down. Because that way... I want an even flat bottom, and if I sit them up straight, they're a little lopsided, so I just turn them over upside down. Take my stick with my paper straw over it, hold it, take my handy dandy tool, my hammer, and I just nail it in. Making sure not to go all the way through the apple because your, your stick will come to the bottom of the apple. You want to make sure it's in there, but not all the way to the end. Okay. And when I get all these sticks into my apples, I'll be back. Okay, now that I've placed all my sticks in my apples, I got a damp towel, a warm damp towel. And I'm going to take each apple and just wipe off. This is just making sure I get all the sap off my apples. And none is left on the apple. And I'm going to take a paper towel. And when you place your sticks in your um, apple, you will have some of the juices from the apples come out around the straw. Just take a paper towel like this and just go around the, the, stem, the stick. And that will get all the juice out the apple from around the stick. So I'm just taking my towel, going around my apple, removing all the sap off the apple. Like that. And I'll be back to show you the ingredients that I'm going to add to make my candy mixture. And... These are Paw Patrol. Well, I'm they Paw Straws, but I'm using using them for Paw Patrol. And I forgot where I ordered them from because I just ordered so many straws. I can't keep up with where I'm ordering them from. But I know they have a wide selection on Esty, and they also have a wide variety on Walmart site that comes from different places. But you still can order them from Walmart. Well, off from Walmart site. And I'm really behind because I'm just getting in for my son's football game. So, I have to have these done for like 8 in the morning. So, hopefully I can be finished in time. And I'm just going, making sure I get all the apples clean. And you don't want to dip these right away because they still a little damp from you wiping them down. But by the time your mix finish, your mixture finish on the stove, they'll be ready to dip. Because it's not like a soaking wet towel, it's a damp towel. So I'll be back to show you the um, ingredients for the candy mix. Okay, now that I got all my sticks in, I'm going to be doing my candy mix. I'm adding four cups of sugar and to that I'm going to add two cups of Cairo syrup and I get these, this big one, Sam's I think only have them during the holidays because I go in Sam's like on the regular like every other day and they normally don't have it but I guess since it's the holidays they have the bigger ones. And this is um, 64 ounce, two quarts. So 
I made sure I stocked up on them while they let while they had them because I don't know when they will stop. I'm guessing after the holidays. Okay. And to this pot, I already added my four cups of sugar. Now I'm gonna add two cups of caro syrup. And this is my favorite measuring cup. I know I could probably can go get a hundred of these, but I'm the type of person, if I like something, I like working with it, using it, I'm gonna use it till it can't. So I broke my handle off of it, but it's still usable, so I use it. Okay. And now I'm gonna add one cup of water. Okay, I'm going to make sure I get all this mixed up. And then I'm going to place it on the stove. But before you place it on the stove, you want to make sure you don't have any sugars like around the inside of your pot because that calls for crystallization. You don't, you don't want your candy to, um, to have that grainy effect in it. So make sure... You um get all the sugar out, and how I get my sugar out with clean hands, of course. I just run my water in my sink, and I make sure my hand is wet, and I just go around the pot getting all the sugar out. See that? And I just do it so ain't no more sugar around the inside of my pot. I mean, you can do it with a brush. Just dip your brush in warm water and just wipe down the sides of your pots on the inside. But I like to do it with my hand because I know what I'm getting out and I can feel it. And I just keep going back and forth until dipping my hand under the water. And so no more sugars in, inside of my pot. Okay, now that I have that complete, <coughs> you see, I'm going to take my thermometer and I'm going to place it in the inside of my pot and I'm going to put my pot on six, my stove on six. And while that is cooking, I'm going to be making some number threes. So I'll show you how I make those in just a moment. Okay, now that my candy mix is cooking, I'm gonna be making number threes. And I got this mold, this number mold from Estee. I can't remember the name I got it from because like I said, I order so much that I just can't keep up with all the names. But, um. I'm gonna be using white fondant and black fondant. And I got this fondant, it come in a little pack because I just needed a little a little black. I got it from Walmart, it comes in a little pack like this by Wilton. And this also comes by Wilton, I got it in a big pack, I think this was like $15.96 or something like that. And this little pack was like two something. So, I'm gonna be making number threes and i'm going to try to make them like the little paw prints and i'm also going to be showing you how to apply your edible not your edible images but your printouts your images onto your sticks so when we get to that point i'll show you how to apply them to the sticks because i am making paw patrol so i'm going to take some of the black and i only need pieces because i want it to be like the little specks in, in the damnation um, dog for the Paw Patrols. So I just need little pieces of black. And I'm just gonna apply them inside the mold. 
Just place them in. Don't have, it can be in whatever spot you want it to be in. No particular order or whatever. I'm just going to place it inside the mold. And then I'm going to take my white. Roll it. And I'm just going to press it over. Removing all the excess. And I also got my cornstarch on standby. In case it get a little sticky with the fondant. And I just dab it. Dab some on my hand and just press it on the fondant. And I'm making sure I get all the corners, all the crevices, and I'm gonna remove all the excess. I'm gonna dip my knife into the cornstarch. I'm just gonna cut off and remove all excess of the fundus that's on the outer, the outside of the um, mold. Because you don't want to leave that extra fundus hanging all over the mold. Because honestly, that's not really cute. Not in my eyes anyway. Because like I said, presentation is everything. So you want everything to be as neat as possible. So, see there's no loose funded hanging over the mold. Okay. And I have a piece of parchment paper laid out here so it's not on the naked table. I'm just going to pop that out like this. And this is how this is how it look. See how it look like the damnation dog? I'll show you what it look. See the specs in the dog and the specs in the in the number? That's what you want. And at this time, you want to try to shape your number, like in case you got it out the mold and it went a different direction than what it was supposed to go in. So this way, you just want to shape it like this. So, so I'll be back when I get all my numbers all done to show you how it came out. Now my mix have reached 300, so I'm removing my thermometer, and I'm gonna add in my flavoring, which is watermelon. I'm gonna stir in my flavor. Don't worry about the smoke or the steam. That's just from the flavor being into the hot mix. Okay, now I'm gonna add in some white. And you want to add your white because that's like your base. So your apples won't be transparent or see-through. And I'm doing blue. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna add in more white. And I'm gonna add in my blue. It depends on how how light or how dark you want your blue. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna dip. Tilting your pot, twirling, then come up. Shake off the excess candy. Hold it. This way you won't have a big bottom. Then I'm going to place it. And at this time, I'm going to place my fondant pieces. I'm going to do one more. Tilt your pot. Twirl. Coating the apple all the way. Shake off. Hold in place. And again, I'm going to add my fondant piece. The candy is still warm, so the number, the fondant piece is going to stick right to it. And I'll be back when I get them all done. Okay, now that I've done that bag, I'm filling my pot up with water, and I'm going to place it on the stove and boil it to get the candy off. And you want to turn your pot up on high. See? So, and now I'm going to show you how to place the images on the stick. Be right back. Okay, now that I got all this batch of apples done, I'm going to apply the images on the stick. Just these. And all you do is take your glue gun, your hot glue gun, and see where you want it at on the stick. Okay, and you're just gonna take your glue gun and you're just gonna apply down the back. And then you're gonna place it on your apple, on your stick, apple stick. Like that. Take it. Try not to go all the way down to where the um the image gonna be on the candy. Like go midways, halfways. Turn it, place it, hold it, and remove it. Move all the strings from the glue gun, the stringy part, and place it. Take it, apply it, put a little pressure to it, place it. So, one more time, take it, not going all the way down. I think my glue gun trying to give out on me, but I got another one, a brand new one, I just never opened it. So I'll be back when I get all I'll be back when I get all these images on the sticks to show you how it look and then hopefully by that time my candy from inside my pot will be finished boiling so I can get started on the next batch. So I'll be back. Okay, now I'm halfway through my second patch of candy, which is gonna be white. And it's almost to 300. I don't know if my thermometer are trying to break or whatever. So that's why I got a second one in, you know, in case that one's not getting the correct reading. So I'll be back when my mix reached 200. 
Now that my mix is off the stove, I'm going to add in my flavor, which is banana. Okay, and then I'm going to add in my white. And I do not like using this brand of white. It come from Hobby Lobby. I bought this a couple of days ago because I thought that the one that I ordered by Chef Master wouldn't be here on time. It's this one right here. And since I already have that, I might as well go ahead and try to hurry up and use it up. And I'll be back when I show you how they look once I dip them out. Okay, now that the white is finished, I'm going to paint like little spots on them because I'm using this image on them. So I'm going to paint like little spots all on them. And what I'm using, I'll be using poppy paint. You don't have to mix this with nothing. And I get this um, on SD also. But I follow this lady who's the creator and the maker of this on Instagram. And it's called Poppy Paint. You can look it up on Instagram on, on, or on SD. And I really like using it. Gonna make sure you shake it really well. Then you're gonna add some to your little palette or whatever, or whatever you want to, um, whatever you want to use. Okay, and I'm gonna take my apple, my paintbrush, I'm gonna dip it in the paint. And you will need to do this two times. You will need to coat it two times. And I'm just gonna draw the spots on the apple. No matter how you draw them, just, you know, you can do paw prints, don't matter. And it dries really well, so you don't have to worry about that. Like I said, I, I absolutely love using poppy paint. However you want to make your spots, you make them. There's no wrong way or right way to make them. And I'm actually going to go over this. You're going to have to, like I said, you have to do a second coat to it. 
so it can be that dark black that you want. Just go all over the apple, put as many, as less spots you want. It don't matter. It's totally up to you. Just be careful not to put so much on the brush because it, it will run down. And I'll show you just a minute because I put too much on my brush. See? But no problem, you can fix it. Just make some little, little put spots down or two. Just sit it. I'm gonna go over this one again. Then I'm gonna get the rest of them all done. It do take time. So when you're doing this, just remember to to have everything else out the way because it's very time consuming. Just paint over. Just go over all the ones that you did so I can get that deep, darker black. It's almost like doing the cowgirl apples I did, just putting spots on it. And if you want, you can just do some. You can paint the paws on there, and it's totally up to you how you want to decorate. Just continue to go over all of them so you have all the ones redid. Because like I stated before, you will have to do a second coat. But the outcome of it, it it's so nice.
I mean, you just have fun with it. I mean, the dog spots are all different sizes, all different. So it, it really is not a wrong way to do it. See? With your second coat on there, I, I'll show you the difference. See? Second, second coat, this coat. Now I'm going to do this coat. Then I'm going to do them. Get them all done and I'll be back. So I still have to dip Rice Krispies. And I already feel like I'm so behind and I'm so sleepy. Because like I said, my son had a football game tonight. So that's why I'm getting started late. So however you want to do it, however you want to decorate, you decorate. And I also did the same recipe I did for the blue ones with this. Four cups of sugar, two cups of caro, and one cup of water. And that's the second coat. So I'll be back when I get all those hand painted. Okay, this is the finished product. After I finish painting them all and getting all the images glued to the stick, this is the outcome. So if this video has been any help to anyone, please don't forget to rate subscribe give it a thumbs up comment and i'll be sure to answer any questions you have in the comment section so i hope i explained everything thoroughly and i hope that this video was good to someone so until the next tutorial y'all have a blessed and wonderful day and may god continue to bless you on your journey if it's in treat making and whatever you decide to do or whatever you are doing. So to my next tutorial, see y'all later.